I've had an idea, and it's either really dumb or really, really smart. I think it's smart, but it might be dumb. I'll let you guys be the judge of it. And it's regarding these, these snap zooms. You see them all the time, they're really, really popular. It's when you take a single piece of footage, like I've got right here, one single camera, and you just punch in for dramatic effect or simply to change the framing. And they're really easy to do in DaVinci Resolve, and everyone does them the same way. But I think, I think, I found a better way. Let me show you the normal way, and then I'll show you the new way, and you can let me know what you think. So this is the normal way. I've got a 15-ish minute clip on my timeline, and I want to do snap zooms throughout. So I'm simply gonna open up the effects library, come on down to effects, and grab an adjustment clip, and put it on my timeline like so. Then we just wanna make this the length of the snap. So let's just put this here, and I want it to snap in right there like so. Then give the adjustment clip a click in the inspector, top right hand corner, just zoom that in to whatever you want. And now we've got this, wherever the adjustment clip is, it'll just zoom straight in. And then what we can do, give the adjustment clip a click, you hold Alt on your keyboard or Option if you're on Mac, to drag, to duplicate it to the other areas you want. So let's just go here, it zooms out here, back in, make this a little bit shorter, and job done. That's the normal method. Now that absolutely works. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's actually relatively quick to set up and you can save those adjustment clips to a power bin. So next time you come in, you just grab the adjustment clip out, drop it on your timeline and job done. Now the time consuming, the slightly fiddly bit is if you've got a really long piece of footage and you keep having to duplicate that adjustment clip shrink it down or lengthen it out depending on what you need it can get a little bit fiddly and this is where i think i found a slightly better way now this new method does take a little bit longer to set up but when it comes to the actual edit i do think it's quicker so let me show you so if you want to start from this i've got nothing on my timeline at the moment i've just got my footage in my media pool like so we're going to right click on it and we're going to create a new multicam clip using selected clips Give it a name, change the settings if you need to. You don't need to worry about actually syncing anything up, so you just leave that as it is. I'm going to untick this box just because it's a little bit annoying. Hit create. And now I've got my original footage here, and I've got this multicam clip. You know it's a multicam because you've got these four little squares icons on it within the media pool. Then we're going to right click, and we're going to open in timeline. And that's going to open up this multicam. Usually, if you've selected multiple different clips, you'll see all the different angles on here. What we're going to do, Click on the footage, hold the Alt key, drag up to make an exact duplicate of that footage. Then on this second angle, this top one, I'm going to give it a click in the inspector, we're just going to zoom it in. So this top clip is zoomed in, this bottom one is zoomed out, like so. Then I just need to go back to my main timeline, so mine's just called timeline one within the media pool. We're going to grab the multicam clip, put it on our timeline like so. Now this is where things become a bit easier. So I'm going to close my inspector, I've only got one single preview panel at the moment, so I'm going to click this little icon with the two boxes to open up my two panels. Under my left panel, we're going to change this to be multicam. Now what you also want to check, you've got three little icons here. I only want to make cuts to the video. I want the audio just to play through without any cuts, without any jumps, anything at all. So we're going to click on this little icon, so our multicam will purely cut our video, not our audio. And then as we're playing through, we can just keep hitting play. And then we can use the number pads on our keyboard, so right across the top. So I'm going to hit two, and we're jumping into our second angle, which is zoomed in. One, to jump back out. Two, to go in. One, to go back out. So then you can just edit this, basically in real time. Two, one, two, one, whatever you need to do. If you put it in the wrong place, you can just click on the edit point and drag forwards or back to lengthen those cuts out as you need to. And it's much faster than having to play through, go back, find your adjustment clip, make a copy of it, lengthen it to make sure it's the right length, yada, yada, yada. You can just do it all in real time. If you want some extra punch in, let's say on this one, you can do that too. Open up your inspector on the actual timeline, you've still got the same controls. So this one, which is already punched in a bit, I'm gonna punch it in a bit more. I could change the position, I could do whatever I want. The rest of them will still be the regular punch in, but this one is even more punched in. Now, if you've changed your mind and you want to change an angle, so I've got this one here, you can see it's set to angle two, simply right click, and then you've got switch multicam clip angle. I can change that to one, I can change that to two. So after you've done cutting, you can still change the angles if you need to. Now, the other big benefit, if I've edited all of this, so I'm happy, but then I've realized that my punch in doesn't quite look right, rather than having to amend all the individual adjustment clips, we can simply go back to our media pool, right click on the multicam clip and open in timeline to bring up our two angles, go to the top one, adjust the zoom, 
do whatever we want. Let's just do something stupid with it. Turn it all the way around. If we go back to our timeline now, anything that's cut normal to our changes. So we can just make those changes as we want without having to worry. Multicam, opening timeline, zoom in, job done. That's clever, right? I think. Let me know your thoughts down below.